quotient spaces are an important concept of linear algebra. Because this topic is kind of abstract, I will try to explain it as good as possible. Ok, first of all we need to understand how to translate a linear subspace. That means we want to move a linear subspace parallelly. So let V be a k-vector space. And let u be a linear subspace of that vector space v. Let a be a vector in the vector space v. Now we define a new set which we call a plus capital U the following way. a plus capital U is defined as the set that contains all the vectors a plus small u, where small u is an element of the subspace capital U. That particular subset A plus capital U of the space V is called the translation of the subspace capital U by the vector A. You can also call it the affine subspace of capital U by the vector A. In R2 we can visualize such sets A plus U nicely. Let's assume we are in the space R2. And our subspace capital U is the following line. And that here is the basis vector of the line U. Let's assume this here is the vector A. Now the set A plus capital U is the parallel translation of the line U by the vector A. So the set A plus capital U is that line here. So the original line capital U got moved parallelly by the vector A. Let's take a look at another vector B now, which looks like that. We will consider the translation of the original line capital U by that vector B. That means the set B plus capital U. As you can see in the picture, B plus capital U is equal to A plus capital U. That means B plus capital U and A plus capital U describe the same line. Because if you add multiples of the basis vector of U to the vector B, you get that line here again, A plus capital U. So it doesn't matter if you translate the original line capital U by A or by B. The resulting line will be the same. So A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U. But I want to note that A is not equal to B. The sets are the same, but not the vectors. You may ask yourself now if there is some kind of criterion to check if two affine subspaces of a linear subspace capital U are the same. Well, there is. We will take a look at it now. Let V be a K vector space and let capital U be a linear subspace. Let A and B be elements of the space V. Then A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U if and only if B minus A is an element of the subspace U. Let's prove this. So the first direction is easy. Let's assume 
A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U. We want to show that B minus A is an element of the subspace U. Because A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U, there exists an small u in the subspace capital U, so that B plus zero can be written as A plus small u. From that follows that small u is equal to B minus A. And u is an element of the subspace capital U. So B minus A is an element of the subspace U too. So that's okay. The other direction isn't difficult either. Let's assume B minus A is an element of the subspace capital U. We want to show that A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U. Let B plus small u be some element in B plus capital U for some small u in the subspace capital U. Then B plus small u can be written as A plus B minus A plus u because A plus B minus A is equal to B. And that here is now an element of the subspace capital U. Because B minus A is an element of the subspace capital U and small u is an element of the subspace capital U. So this here is an element of the subspace capital U too. Now this here on the right is an element of the set A plus capital U. That means B plus small u is an element of the set A plus capital U. And because we have chosen B plus small u as an arbitrary element of B plus capital U in the beginning, it follows that B plus capital U is a subset of A plus capital U. Now let A plus small u be some arbitrary element of the set A plus capital U for some small u in the subspace capital U. A minus B is an element of the subspace U too, because B minus A is an element of the subspace capital U. That's a property for subspaces. Now we can write A plus small u as B plus A minus B plus small u because B plus A minus B is equal to A. Now that here is an element of the subspace capital U because A minus B is an element of the subspace capital U and small u is an element of the subspace capital U. So that here is an element of the subspace capital U too. That's a property for subspaces. Now this here on the right is an element of the set B plus capital U. That means A plus small u is an element of B plus capital U. And because A plus small u is an arbitrary element of the set A plus capital U, it follows that the set A plus capital U is a subset of B plus capital U. Now we have shown this here and that here, but that means that A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U. And the proof is finished. 
if we take a look at our example of the line in R2 again, we can see that the vector B minus A is an element of the subspace capital U. The criterion now tells us that A plus capital U is equal to B plus capital U. Okay, now we can finally define the quotient space V by a linear subspace capital U. Let V be a K vector space and let capital U be a linear subspace of that vector space V. The set that contains all parallel translations of the linear subspace capital U, so the set that contains all the sets A plus capital U for A a vector in V is called the quotient of the vector space V by the linear subspace U. The set is denoted like that. So the quotient of V by U is the set that contains all translations A plus capital U of the subspace U where A is an element of V. So if we consider our example in R2 again, where the linear subspace U is some line, then the quotient R2 by U is the set that contains all lines in R2 that are parallel to the original line capital U. So the quotient R2 by U contains, for example, that line here, A plus capital U, that is parallel to the original line capital U. But it also contains all other lines that are parallel to the original line capital U. Now we want to make this quotient V by U to a K vector space. To do so, we need a scalar multiplication and a vector addition on the quotient V by U. The scalar multiplication is defined the following way. Lambda times A plus capital U is defined as lambda times A in brackets plus capital U for all lambda in the field K. And the vector addition is defined like that. A plus capital U plus B plus capital U is defined as A plus B in brackets plus capital U. Now the quotient V by U together with this scalar multiplication and that vector addition is a vector space. That space is called the quotient space V by U. Why is this a K vector space? Well, you have to show two things. The first thing you have to show is that the scalar multiplication and the vector addition are well defined functions. That means that the scalar multiplication and the vector addition are independent of the representation of the sets A plus capital U and B plus capital U. The second thing you have to show are the vector space properties. That shouldn't be too difficult, because most of them just follow from the fact that V is a vector space. In the end, everything should work out and this here 
is a k-vector space. The zero element in that quotient space is the element zero plus capital U, which is equal to the linear subspace capital U. So the zero vector in the quotient space V by U is the linear subspace capital U. The criterion now tells us that an element X plus capital U in the quotient space is equal to the zero element if and only if X is an element of the linear subspace capital U. Now we want to calculate the dimension of the quotient space V by U. There is the following result. If capital V has a finite dimension, then the dimension of the quotient space is equal to the dimension of V minus the dimension of U. So if V has finite dimension, then the dimension of the quotient space V by U is equal to the dimension of V minus the dimension of U. I will show you a proof sketch. So let the dimension of V be N and let the dimension of U be K which is smaller or equal to N. We choose a basis C which is equal to B1 to BK of the subspace capital U. Now we extend that basis C to a basis B of the space capital V by adding the vectors BK plus 1 to BN to the basis C. Now B is equal to B1 to BK and BK plus 1 to BN is a basis of the space capital V. Now the elements BK plus 1 plus capital U to BN plus capital U form a basis of the quotient space V by U. So you need to show that these elements generate the space V by U and that they are linear independent. If you are interested how to show this or if you have problems showing this, just let me know in the comments. So in the end, these elements are a basis of the space V by U and there are n minus k elements in that basis. So the dimension of V by U is equal to n minus k and this is equal to the dimension of V minus the dimension of U. And the proof is finished. Ok, I know quotient spaces are a bit confusing, especially when you see that concept the first time. But I hope my video could help you understand them a little better. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would help and motivate me to keep creating videos.